Hey everyone, Mr. Sujano here, your home for gaming, tech, news, and reviews. In today's video, we are going over the brand new Fightcade 2. Let's get started. All right, to kick things off, if you don't know what Fightcade is, in a nutshell, it's a program that will let you play your retro video games online in a multiplayer fashion. You connect to real people and either play with or against them based on the video game that you're playing. This used to be limited really to just arcade games, but recently with the launch of Fightcade 2, it's also expanded to Super Nintendo and Sega Dreamcast. Now to get started, head over to Fightcade.com. I will leave a link to this page in the description below. Fightcade is a free program that is compatible with Windows, Mac, and Linux. It is not compatible with the Raspberry Pi. And at the time of filming, the Linux and the Mac versions are currently restricted to Patreon supporters only because they are in a beta state. So if you have either of those systems, just be patient and eventually they will be released for free. If you have a Windows machine, just click on the little Windows icon here and download your Fightcade. Once you've downloaded Fightcade and booted up the installer, the process is pretty simple and straightforward. But I will say there are two things you have to install. The first one is Fightcade 2, and the second thing, which should install automatically, is Microsoft DirectX. You will need to register a username in order to log in and use Fightcade, so I will leave a link to this register page in the description below. Feel free to register your username. Once you've installed Fightcade 2, the next step is to place your ROMs inside of the Fightcade folder so Fightcade can see and use them. To do that, open up your Fightcade 2 folder, Go to the ROMs folder here and then place the files within each of these folders. For example, if you have Super Nintendo ROMs, place them in the SNES 9X ROMs folder. If you have Dreamcast ROMs, place them in the Null DC ROMs folder. And if you have Arcade ROMs, place them in the either FB Neo or FC1 ROM folder. If you have Arcade ROMs, Fightcade uses Final Burn Alpha and Final Burn Neo. Not necessarily every single arcade game will be compatible with either of those emulators. So Final Burn Alpha is the FC1 folder and Final Burn Neo is the FB Neo folder. If you don't know whether or not you have a game that's compatible or which folder to place it in, I will leave a link to archive.org. You can use this to cross-reference if you want. So we'll let you know what ROMs are compatible with Final Burn Alpha and what ROMs are compatible with Final Burn Neo. Once you've placed your ROMs in the ROMs folder, you've booted up Fight K2 and you've logged in, this is what you should see here. From here, you can immediately begin to play games based on the ROMs that you have. So to search for a game, all you have to do is press the plus button here and then search for the game that you want to play. If you're looking to play a multiplayer game, it will allow you to see how many people are in the room. For example, in Street Fighter Third Strike, you can see there are currently 210 players. In King of Fighters 98, there are currently 142 players. And if you look at the message when I hover over this, it says, can't join this channel, maximum amount of concurrent channels reached. What this means is I have three games right now that I've added that I want to play. So I can go into the Capcom versus SNK2 lounge, I can go into the Super Street Fighter 2 Turbo lounge, or I can go into the Super Mario Kart lounge and play there. Now, what I, if I want to play a different game, I have to exit one of the lounge or the lobbies here. And to do that, all I have to do is just click on this little button there that says leave channel. From there, I can add another game. So you can see now the join button has appeared. Once you're in a lounge or a lobby of a game you want to play, for example, I'm in Super Street Fighter 2, all you have to do from here is right click. If you want to play someone, it says here looking to play. I can see four different people looking to play. Someone from the States, uh, there's someone here from the Dominican, another person from the United States, and so on and so forth. All I have to do is right click and then click challenge and I can challenge them to a match. And if I don't want to challenge anyone and just want to play alone, all I have to do is go up to here where it says test game. You click it, it will automatically launch the game in single player mode and you can play on your own. Now if you want a flashy avatar, you can see my avatar there. You can import one, but it's a bit of a hassle and I will give you the heads up about that. To do so, head over to gravitar.com. Once you're on gravitar.com, you will need a WordPress sign in in order to get started creating your avatar. And to do that, you just head over into the top right hand corner of the screen here where it says WordPress sign in. 
The process is not very fun at all. It's not an easy process and it's a bit of a pain. Now, Fight K2 is currently in a public beta. So if things aren't working quite right, just be patient and they might work a little bit better later on and things might change. If anything changes significantly, I will do an updated video just to show whatever updated processes there are. But anyways, that is all I've got for today. So let me know what you think about Fight K2 in the comments below. I think it's a really cool program. It's a great way to play games with your friends or against your friends online and even make some new friends. If you like this video, leave a like. If you didn't like this video, leave a like. Hit that subscribe button. Check out my other videos. Thank you everyone. Take care.